to uh so like every uh, uh movie watch um a month we watch a TV show after the movie and this and Disney's New Year's no exception with Agent Carter. The first of the two films, the sh- I mean shows alongside another show which shall watch on DVD. As you see in the picture. And Agent Carter is an interesting one because I want I s I was close to finish it in 2022, but I did not have time for it. So I stopped at season two, episode four. And I went, I restart the whole thing and rewatched the whole thing again. And then season one is about Agent Carter who works for SSA, but it's also a double agent for Howard Stark who is being wanted and the probably going to be number one. But then later, Dottie Underwood and her partner, um, do some bad things, and it was up to Agent Carter, Agent Sousa, Agent Jarvis, and Howard Stark to stop them. And in season two, they go to the SSR, go to Hollywood, where they meet up Whitney Frost, a Hollywood actress, and Agent Carter meets up with Jason Wilkes, a communist who is help, who is taking care of a zero matter, a stuff of darkness that Whitney Frost wants. And when the explosion came out, Jason Wells kind of disappears, but then it's being brought back to life. And then Winnie Franz gets more evil with her having a zero matter scar on her face. And she was uh, killing everyone with her own hands. And I really like Asian Carter because it plays out like a 40s show. Especially since there's a lot of 40s soundtrack and 40s tribute to the mood cinema. And I do like Haley Atwell's performance. I think she did a really good job as Agent Carter. We really enjoy her performance. And the other characters like Susan Jarvis and Wilkes are very interesting characters and side characters too. Especially because I was not expecting Susan and Carter to fully be together though it was set up at season two. And then it happened at the finale of season two, where they make out. And I really like the two villains. Dottie is a very many scene villain at season one, especially with her smile at season two. And Winnie Frost is a very interesting villain because she already kind of starts like a villain, but gets more evil the more she gets power from the zero matter. And she makes for a very intimidating one, probably one of the most unique villains of Marvel television. So I really like both of the villains. And I do like the use of this music in this movie, I mean that movie show, because it's, sometimes it's a 40s type music, while other times like an action spy theme, whenever action scene comes in. And I do like the action in the show, it's very cool, it's very amazing and very Fun to watch. And I do like the opening theme, what happens in their flat, then the re, the recap and the opening title sequence. It's very, very epic. So, I thought Howard Stark was very interesting. He was kind of entertained more in season two because he became a filmmaker and then later brought Jason Wilkes to life. And he can be a little interesting, maybe a little funny sometimes. Maybe it's just me. But I really enjoy Howard Stark in this in this show a lot. So, yeah, so that is my look on the first of the two shows for Disney's New Year, Agent Carter.